Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys can probably already tell from the title, today I'm going to be going to Lowe's Hardware Store and I'm going to be looking for hamster supplies that I can find there. So I have done two of these videos in the past. I did one where I went to the dollar store to see if I could find any hamster related items. And what I mean by that is like items that will work for any like anything in the hamster owning process. So like for example, you guys will see when I go to Lowe's, I found these little bins and I think that bins um, can work great for storage. And I don't mean like a plastic tub, I mean like cute little colorful bins that you can like store hamster supplies in because storage is definitely something you need if you're gonna have a hamster because I personally have a lot of hamster supplies and unless you have storage for that, it can get a little crazy, so yeah. Anyways, I did one of these videos at the dollar store and then I did one at Walmart. And so I wanted to do one at the hardware store because I often get a lot of questions of where I get different hamster items and sometimes I end up saying the hardware store. So I was like, let's go and let's just see like if there is any other hamster related items I can find there. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and get on to the video. Here we have some tubs. Not a terrible size, they're almost 30 gallon, but I would say if you were going to use this as a cage, you'd probably need to get two of them. And they are $16, so it's not the best deal. I'll show you guys the bigger selection of tubs that they also have at Lowe's a little bit later, but honestly, I would suggest getting tubs from Walmart or Target. I really have no idea what I'm looking for. I'm just kind of looking, walking around and seeing if there's anything that I'm like popping out that could work for a hamster. This is obviously much bigger than the dollar store. So I'm honestly just kind of looking around, seeing if there's anything that I can see that would be used uh, for a hamster. So I came across some of these workers gloves. I would not suggest using these super much for holding and taming your hamster because they are super big and bulky, but I did find some gardening gloves that I did think would work better. It, if you're having trouble with your hamster biting you, I would say using some gardening gloves would be the way to go. I then came across some of these power tools. Now you guys know that I always use a drill to make my hamster bin cages. However, I will be showing you guys a couple other power tools in just a second. So if you want to use a drill to um, make your hamster bin cage, you can do that. Found one of those. And then I found these really cool like saws and I can so see this being used to make a bin cage and sawing through the plastic so much easier than using a drill. So I really wish I had one of these in my house. Unfortunately, they're like $200. But if you're willing to um, do that and if you make hamster, a lot of hamster cages, I would definitely suggest getting one of these because you can cut through the plastic really easy and make straight lines, which is super helpful when you're trying to make a bin cage. Then I came to the cleaning section. So we all know that hamsters can get a little stinky and when you're cleaning out things like the wheel, using one of these scrub brushes can be really helpful and um, I don't necessarily scrub the cage out too, too much. Definitely just getting one of those scrub brushes can be helpful. And then I came across some soap, which you always wanna make sure that you're washing your hands before you're handling your hamster. So the next thing that I came across were some of these cute little storage cubes. And honestly, when you are having a hamster, storage is super essential because you need somewhere that you can put all of your hamster wheels, toys, chews, whatever. You're gonna need somewhere to put all that stuff and making sure that it's nice and organized is really important. So maybe getting one of these cube organizers and maybe just some of these little storage bins is a great idea. And I think it would look so cute if you just put all your hamster supplies in there and it would be super easy to get to as well. And you can even put your hamster cage on top of one of those little cube organizers. So it's perfect. 
And then, as you guys can see, there's a bunch of different types of these little bags and bins that, of course, you can also use as things to organize your hamster supplies. So if you are a DIYer and you would like to make your own cage, I found some of these white pieces of plywood. They were pretty inexpensive. And if you put a couple of these together, you could make a pretty large hamster cage and maybe just get like a piece of uh, plexiglass so you can see your hamster through one side. And then here we go, guys. This is the bin area. The bin selection is kind of lacking, not gonna lie, and the prices I find at the hardware store are kind of high compared to like Walmart or Target. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying your bins from here, but you can always just check and see if there is a specific size at your hardware store that you're like, this is perfect, you know? The next thing that I came across was some of this chicken wire. Now, if you're gonna be making a bin cage, this is super essential. The one I'm showing you guys right now looks like it's about an inch wide. I usually use a half inch wire mesh. You don't want it to be super large like this that your hamster could potentially you know, chew through and um, escape. Uh, but this stuff is great and this is pretty much the only place that you can find this is at the hardware store. So, all right you guys, we finally got to the item that I've been wanting to show you guys in this entire video. This is pretty much the reason why I made this video is to show you guys where I get my hamster sand because I'm constantly getting questions about it and I always tell people I get it from the hardware store and it looks like this it is just child's play sand the price to sand ratio is amazing it is a 50 pounds bag of sand for literally five dollars you get so much for it and yes there is going to be tiny little rocks and things in there but with a sifter you can just sift those out and it works great and with the amount of sand that I go through with Chandler and Rhino together, having a big bag like this to constantly refill and use is so great. It's way better than the ones that you can get at the pet store, which are super small, and I would probably go through those in like literally a week. Next, I came across some of these fun little lights. Now, I know that these aren't really hamster related, but they could definitely spruce up a hamster room or a pet room. The next thing that I found were these cute little pots and these were great as little hamster hideouts and I have actually done this with things like mugs but these work great because they're kind of larger and what you do is you just place them on their side and then you can fill them up with bedding and your hamster can climb in there and it can just work as a little bit of a hideout, a little cocoon area for your hamster and there's a bunch of different styles and colors that you can choose just depending on what you're trying to go for and then i found these actually compostable ones which i thought would work amazing for like a natural cage theme and they're cheaper too and you can get a bunch of them and then i also found these little plant seed pot things and this is kind of like the egg carton that i'm always telling you guys can work great as like a hamster hideout or a hamster playground and if you cut out the bottom of them your hamster can climb into it and kind of use it as like a hideout playground type thing. Next I found these pot holders and oh my gosh these are great as hamster food dishes especially for Syrians because they're so large and flat and Syrians and all hamsters love to sit on their food and so getting a large food dish for them is honestly great. I also found these smaller pots which would work amazing for robos or dwarfs. And there's a bunch of different colors of these pot holders. So I think that honestly those are better than the hamster food dishes that they sell at the pet store because they're larger and just way better. guys so that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed watching me go there and look for a bunch of random stuff honestly i i went in and then i was like wait a second i have honestly no idea what i'm looking for here so yeah i don't know what my hair is doing right now but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed watching i hope that you guys this just helped you guys if you were wondering where you could find some little hamster related items from the hardware store of all places but yeah i will see you guys in my next video Bye.